Hello and welcome back for another episode on a set of Corsa. We are looking at my 180 missile car. If you guys have not downloaded my 180 missile car, I'll leave the link for the missile car pack down in the description box below. One of my favorite cars to rock is this 180 missile. So today we're going to be taking a look at two new tracks on the Google Drive website, which I will also leave the link for both tracks in the description box below. And I say I will this time because I'll make sure to do it. I know I say a lot and I forget, but then I put it in there. We'll make sure we get them in there this time. So the tracks we're going to be taking a look at are called Megaspace, which has a big flowy, looks like big flowy track with a big skid pad. And the other one is NOLA Motorsports Park. So we're going to take a look at these two tracks. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All of it's found in the description box below. Let's get sideways. <laughs> All right, so we are sitting in the parking lot of NOLA Motorsports Park. If you guys know us, we're rocking the Alpine Star gloves today because we have switched back to the mint green and neo chrome wheel. We have the black accenting from my other wheels and stuff. I think it looks pretty cool. Bringing back that OG wheel. Definitely like the feel of the wood grain. So we're all rocking the gloves though because, well, it helps get a little bit of grip on the wood grain. We're gonna pop our headlights on. Go full set on this track see what we can come up with looks like we got to go this way and then I'm assuming maybe this way make sure our boost is all the way up so it's definitely fun going to take a look at new tracks that come out on the drive and just give them a rip guess we're going straight into it a little uh, short little chicane kick A break to hold that line. There we go. Little flick back. Really hard transition there, but we managed to hold it. Why is my cursor in the way? Get out of the way, cursor. All right, that's a bit of a bit of a quick flick there, and then these little like quick entry snapbacks. Don't think drifting it would be the best option. We gotta slow that down. Stay in third. Clutch kicks for the win. Stayed on heavy on the clutch on that one. A little transition there. Another switch back. A lot of very small switch backs, but it is a cart track, so that makes more sense. But overall, a pretty fun little track. It's gonna be a really long, dirty e break grab into that, but we got it. So we're gonna run maybe a lap or two on here. See if we can't manage to link this. A little bit of a dirty grass drop there. I probably should have gone into fourth. So, like I said, if you haven't downloaded this 180, definitely one of my favorite cars in that pack, other than 350, you know, the broken body kits and everything like that, dented in quarter. Definitely uh, had a lot of fun with this car. So, oh. This is kind of actually a fun track. It's very small, so it's a lot of quick snapbacks and things of that nature. I don't know if it would be the best for Tatum's, although it could be because it's very short and snappy kind of like um, clutch kickers and things of that nature so I definitely could see getting down with some tandems on this track yes yeah, some very low powered cars maybe some three or four hundred horsepower or even lower maybe 150 200 horsepower street cars would be great on this track we definitely would have flat spotted our tires on that if this was a real car Okay, that, that one was better. Little grass drop there, nothing major. <laughs> Wood grain squeaking on the gloves from the little textured parts in the front. So, first impressions of the track, like I said, it's a fun little track. I could definitely see getting tandems here. It would be a little bit different because it is smaller. 
but then again maybe that would make for some really close tandems like Tomata Circuit and things of that nature. Definitely loves clutch kicks. So I think we have beaten this track to a death and you can only run this track so much by yourself. We need to get some other cars in here. So let's just take a look at another track, that super, super mega spot track. And uh, I'll catch you guys once we get on that track. All right. So we are on the mega space track. We are trying to adjust some gear ratio. We're probably gonna bump it to a three six, get a little bit extra gears. Looks like this, uh, this track is gonna be uh, pretty uphill. Turn the headlights on for all the cool little uh, LED tubing and stuff that are in this car. All right, let's do it. Oh, so there's a little starting gate here? All right, well, run the starting gate. It's a really big downhill. So there's a zone there, that's cool. So there's some zones, it's very bright on this track, so it's kind of hard to see the zones. We may have to adjust our light settings. This is a very flowy track. Oh, just a little bit of a wall tap. Uh, I couldn't bring that one and link that one in. Oh, this is definitely a fun track. I could see some uh, really nice tandems on this track. Let's go grab the handbrake. Don't dip down there. Wow, that's a very uh, aggressive drop off. If you make a mistake on that turn, this track looks like it could definitely thrash with some higher powered cars. I kind of like it. I would give this track a uh, 10 out of 10. We definitely drift it with friends. Wow. Managed to save that though. Got a little uh, reverse entry clutch out kick. And we are back to, looks like the start. I mean, what's better than a fist gear? Fifth gear entry at 120 miles an hour. A major wall tap. <laughs> so let's try a car with a little more power and see if we can't uh, link this track in its full entirety. So we're going to try the M235 drift car. Now this car is still private, so unfortunately you guys can't drive this one yet. But we're gonna go uh, see what we can do with this car. Maybe take a look at the replays and see if this has some cool replay angles. 100% boost. 840 horse. Alright. Let's go full send. Much more power than the 180. Oh, well, we've already smacked the back end of the car and uh, damaged the back bumper and trunk and everything. We were unable to link that part. Kind of threw it a little bit too hard. I was trying to be a little bit too aggressive. Oh yeah, this car definitely has the power to do this course. So you would need a little bit more power if you want to be able to link all of this course. We've managed to get there, just barely, but we got it.
All the clutch kicks. Huge fireballs. So we're gonna try and do this again without throwing too much like that. And we sent it too far. Okay. I meant to go back here. <clears throat> we meant to go back here. Yep. Alright. So we're gonna go full send up the hill. M235. <laughs> that was not gonna work. Okay. Alright. Okay, we're dead. Okay, this car is donezo. Um. We're gonna throw that pit button. Try this one more time. We're just gonna go straight through the gate, too. Straight through the gate. Not gonna throw it too hard this time. Settled it down a little bit. Now I think we can get the rest of this track. Until we stalled out there. Should have been in third. I feel like the gear ratio could be lowered a little bit to make this course easier to do and fourth all the way. Or we could just shift. I just love how smooth that I can be in this M235. Not much adjustment once it's kind of locked in angle. You can kind of just use the left foot braking and throttle to get the car to go where I need it to, kind of just snap at an angle and be done. So I think this will do it for today's episode. Taking a look at some new tracks on the Google Drive. I'll leave all the links for everything other than this car in the description box below because this is still a private car. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode here on a set of course. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All of it found in the description box below. Let's try not to die. We're gonna die. Yep. So, I'd like to thank you guys for coming back. And as always, thank you guys for all the support. If you guys aren't subscribed, tap that subscribe button. I would appreciate the support. And as always, I thank you guys for coming back. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.